I react, I react, I react, I react, I react. Cloak and Dagger Season 2 official trailer. This is a two minute video, so I'll begin promptly. I watched all of Season 1, enjoyed it. Now I know the MCU ha I said I watched it, I didn't start watching. Let's just click and watch it. I suppose the best place to start is with a story. A story of a girl who looks like an angel and a boy who moves like a shadow. That sounds crazy. That sounds great. There are things that I can do. Luke has been practicing. No, you don't gotta believe in me. Cloak speaks That's like nice. he's always crying. On the verge of crying. I'm making the city a better place. I know what you're gonna say. It's stupid and dangerous. What I was gonna say is why didn't you ask me to help? You and me saving the world. Running away from bullets. Risking your life. Put my family in danger. Oh, no! They're coming for you! What do you do? Oh, yeah. Man needs a blade for that. I'm lucky I have you. Me too. Uh -huh. Did you have to rip it? You're literally a fashion emergency. City is full of monsters, but this is a different breed. Louisiana is no stranger to sex trafficking. This is dark. <laughs> Who's taking all those missing girls? I want to help. The if human trafficking is from the Spider-Man comic. You've had your chance. It's my turn now. Yeah. Yellow Ranger. Who the hell are you? I'm the one who's gonna find those missing girls. This is mayhem. Oh, this dagger. This guy's throat open with her hand. I will fight back. Are you with me or are you gonna slow me down? Don't do this. He saved them. She's not right about this. What if she is? What I'm capable of comes both ways. You need to be afraid for your life. But if you let those wounds become scars, you're gonna look at yourself one day and not recognize what you see. Yeah, I didn't like that character, the voodoo kind of. Which two hour season premiere, eh? Interesting. Why the advertising claim? Yeah, that looks pretty all right. That, that looked really good. I am on board. I was beginning to say that the MCU has movies and then TV shows that the movies will never reference, and then the TV shows sort of kind of reference each other, and then the movies, but it never works the other way around, where I see a movie talk about. Hey, what about Luke Cage? Like, I need that. So I know it's considered the MCU, but I don't consider it an MCU until a movie actually says something about Quake. Now, looks good. The um, the whole drug, or not drug trafficking, human trafficking with the women, that's something that's mentioned in Peter Parker's Spectacular Spider-Man issue number. I'm not that kind of a nerd. I don't know exactly when it happened. But I remember when I was looking for Cloak and Dagger's first appearance on Marvel Unlimited. That's where that story comes from. The villain in it, the cop, that's one of their first... Oh, what was her name? Kira from the Power Rangers Dino. Okay, she's also like a, a Cloak and Dagger villain. For real, for real. Who else is in there? Um, the Voodoo Woman, that, that it was never a Louisiana thing. I think that they just did that to be separate from the New York heroes because most of Marvel happens in New York. Most of the writers from New York, so naturally they, they wrote New York characters. Uh, I didn't like how the whole city of, of New Orleans in the season finale, if you haven't seen the season finale, I'll shut up, but I don't like how it was a season uh, or a seas city affecting problem. Where it's like, fine, it, I need other things to mention and reference with that. Where was Tony Stark pulling him in his Iron Man suit when that went ha when that all happened? Where? Like a whole city going into that kind of trouble was strange to me. Oh, so the police are coming after Cloak's family. Yeah, last season just kind of picked up at the end. Like the final episode was just eventful and eventful. A lot of groundwork was built with Cloak and Dagger. The, the two heroes and it's gonna pay off dagger and her ex liam i think that there's uh gonna be a little bit of a uh, continuation of that story i don't remember seeing him in this trailer but uh, then again i don't even remember what his face looked like um it's gonna be crazy rated r or it's not rated r it's rated see that's why, why do they even have ratings anymore it's like i just saw women all dressed in their underwear 
getting human trafficking, getting kidnapped, and, and it's going to be on ABC. Strange, man. This looks like a great show. Uh, don't watch it if you if you were looking for MCU and continuity and stuff. That's not why you should watch it. Watch it for the 10 episodes of enjoyment it's going to be, standing alone. That's my advice. My name is Chillmonger. I review or I react to a lot of things Marvel related. Go ahead and subscribe to me and be a great person. Spread that peace, love, and positivity like K-Dot says. Adios.